Remember as a kid waking up early on Saturdays without a care in the world, school was done for the week, and all you wanted to do was watch some Yu-Gi-Oh! Well in this series, both House of Champs and myself are bringing back one of our favorite childhood pastimes. Each episode will be picking new decks to bring to the table in a best 2 out of 3 for some good old wholesome Yu-Gi-Oh! fun. Saturday morning Yu-Gi-Oh! is back ladies and gentlemen, because this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed Saturdays. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I think I may be more excited for this episode than any other episode we've had on Sealed Saturday thus far. The reason for that is because the Jaden and Cyrus starter decks may have some of the best back and forth we've seen yet. Just the power level of the cards in these decks are crazy. And on top of that, this is just giving me like LOB, MRD, MRL sort of like vibes where you play a deck with like 15 or 16 monsters and then your spells and traps are just gas and it's just tons of removal look how much removal is in this deck typically when we play this series out removal is pretty hard to come by but we have an abundance of removal this time around and so i think it's gonna make for a fun episode we'll see what happens but let's go ahead and do the card by card so we are playing the Jaden deck since john lost the last episode he opted to play the cyrus one so he'll be with you in a moment to discuss his choices but we are going with this so we're going with just a straightforward just good stuff deck but man there's a lot of good cards in here. We've got Chiron the Mage in 1800 body. We're also playing 13 spell cards in the deck. So what's nice here is that if we get him out, we can actually use this to start picking away at some of John's back row. And with cards like Sakuretsu and Trap Hole in both of our decks, that's going to actually be pretty big. We're also playing three Wild Heart. Wild Heart is the weakest of all the beaters that we're playing. But the thing is, it's immune to traps. And we have Trap Hole, we have Sakuretsu. There's a lot of traps in this format. And so if we can stick Wild Heart on an empty board, maybe protect it with something like Rush Recklessly or some traps of our own, this is going to be very hard for John to deal with because we have so much removal and Wild Heart is in fact immune to it. We're also playing three Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. The effect could come up, but for all intents and purposes, it's an 1800 beater. Same with Dark Blade and Gemini Elf is our best beater coming in at 1900. That's it for the monsters because when you have a spell and trap lineup like this, you don't really need more. So next up, we have two copies of what I think is the MVP of my deck, non-ironically, Banner of Courage. This card has actually done work in other series that I have on the channel. And I think for this particular episode, this is one of those instances. All monsters you control gain 200 attack during your battle phase only. What I like about this is that it's not an equip card because if it were an equip, I wouldn't want to play it because there's so much removal like Smashing Ground, Sakuretsu, Trap Hole, Compulse, Lightning Vortex, that an equip card would actually leave the field very easily. But Banner of Courage being continuous means it's going to stick around aside from like Heavy Storm or True Nade. But giving all of our monsters 200 attack means that our Gemini Elves are going to be able to go over John's copies of Archfiend Soldier, our Dark Blades, our Ninja Grandmasters, and our Chirons can also get over the Archfiend Soldiers as well, and that means that we're just able to trade more efficiently in combat during our turn, effectively turning this into a removal spell. Now, the issue is we do have to still face down cards like Sakuretsu Armor and Rush Recklessly and the like, but it's going to force John to use cards in situations where he may not want to, and so I actually feel this is going to give our deck a leg up. We'll have to see because there is a ton of removal in the format, but I think this card is definitely worth the slot. If not, we can just side it out. True Nade and Heavy Storm for back removal. Three Lightning Vortex. This is actually at three, which is nuts. So we're going to, this is effectively like Dark Hole or Regeki for us because we're just going to be doing a lot of two for twoing with this. Ideally, Rush Recklessly is going to help us win combat. And we also have Smashing Ground as well, rounding out our spells. And then the traps, only two Compulse because I had to make cuts somewhere. And this is the weakest of the traps, I feel. Three Dust Tornado. I want to have ways to deal with stuff like Saku and Trap Hole. And so this is one of the better ways to do so. John also has access to cards like Book of Moon, Enemy Controller as well. So we need to have something to be able to at least get those maybe in the end phase. One Magic Cylinder because it's hilarious. And then Triple Sack and Triple Trap Hole rounding out the main 40. The side deck, three Exiled Force. I'm siding this because... 
we already sort of have enough removal. I mean, three, six, nine, 12, I guess if you count compulse, like 14 pieces of removal in our spell and trap department. I don't think we actually need to waste a normal summon just to be able to remove one of John's monsters. I think the spells and traps are going to do the job. Three Sonic Duck. If we need more beaters, this is the next biggest one that I have. So this may come out for, you know, the Banner of Courages, maybe the Wild Hearts if these don't perform how I'm thinking. But Sonic Duck plus Banner of Courage can get over 1800s and trade with Archfiend Soldier. So again, having this little card in here makes it so that we can use our smaller cards first before we deploy our bigger threats. If the banner proves to be effective, we have a third copy of it. Two brain control. I don't really think this card's that good because we're not playing a lot of tribute monsters. We're actually not playing any. And I like this from the perspective of we could use it to maybe just win a game if he has something out on the field. We can brain control it, normal summon our own thing. And that's like close to 4,000 damage. But again, the fact that there's a lot of ways that John can stop that, I'm not too keen on it. But it is an aggro card if we want it to be at the cost of a minus. The third compulse, if this actually proves to be pretty good. But just bouncing back a normal summon isn't the best but it could actually be useful because we could actually use it on our own monsters as well for trying to protect them. Two draining shield and three negate attack rounding out the side deck. The reason for these is because if we're in a situation where we have lightning vortex, we can negate attack one of John's attacks for two or three. And then on the follow up, we can just lightning vortex and clear the whole board. So I actually think these attack negators have a small place in this deck, but I think they're a little bit inferior compared to stuff like Saku and trap hole. So we'll see how it goes. It's really going to depend on how the games play out. And if I feel that these cards are necessary but I mean again we also just need to fill up the side deck and these are pretty much the next best option so before we get into the games of course we have to spend the wheel of random events I really hope we get something good I don't want to this is one of the episodes I really just don't want to get hit by one of the bad events that can happen so let's get some extra packs to strengthen our deck please Oh, that looks good. Enter local tournament, three tournament packs, baby. Let's go. What's good, CMOS channel? And welcome to the deck list. Cyrus vs. Jaden should be quite the show. They are so similar in power. I think the Jaden one is very slightly better, so you're in for a show. But Steamroid, one of Cyrus's cards were calling to me. Back in the day, I could not afford Cyber Dragons as a kid. I actually played for them at the sneak peek, putting up parts of my binder. And Steamroid is what allowed me to attack directly over those cyber dragons that I won. People were scoffing, oh, what a terrible card. But this man with his iron tire fist really held it down for me. Now he goes up to 2300 attack when attacking, but falls down to 1300 whenever being attacked, but has 1800 defense, which is absolutely no slouch. I'm so overly passionate for this card from Cyrus. Then we have three Chiron the Mage, 1800 beater that can also take out back rows by pitching your own spell. So establishing this, Simo will have to kind of consider or what to do about him with the back rows. Then I have three the Koichi the Battle Chanted Locomotive. This will allow me to get advantage just by simply flipping it and maybe some of the back and forth taking tempo also. Three Mask of Darkness allowing me to recur traps which could be a huge advantage here as Sakuretsu Armor and Trap Hole are huge swings with also having Smashing Grounds. I was so tempting to also main deck the Lightning Vortex you see in the side but we'll get to that. We have three Archfiend Soldier for 1900. This is the main no extra needed in the format against Gemini Elf that Simo should have and two Dark Blades. I really wanted to put in two Cybertech Alligators and I went back and forth as you can see at the end of the side deck. I want payoff for brain control but with so many removals establishing it just doesn't really feel worth it. Then we have the one Book of Moon where Simo is going to get compulses instead. We have three brain controls which both of us have access to. I have three enemy controller as well. Giant Truminade to take out the back row heavy storm to take out the back row and then three smashing grounds now where i do have an advantage is simo has negate attack where i have three threatening roars which can chain to these back row removals and i don't know that simo is going to be bringing negate attack but we will see i have three sakuretsu armor to really threaten his monsters when they do consider attacks three seven tools of the bandit which should also help shut down his back row depending on how the game goes three trap hole and i played only one rising energy i was tempted to do more but card economy is so important in these duels i sidelined the other two then we have three submarine roid i was so torn i wanted to put this in the main deck especially with the theme i remember this card so fondly the ultimate rare too but i feel like it's just going to end up getting run over a lot then we have those three cyber tech split between here we have the three black pendants which again compulse just kind of hurts this card's economy and also tempo by threatening 
email he'll often have an answer that just takes care of the monster with it and i don't want a minus one to sakuretsu we have the three lightning vortex if i do find that his cards are able to just establish a cleaner board than mine the two rising energy in case and i kind of wanted to put rush recklessly in but i did resist that and then the one extra dark blade if I want more monsters for tempo because I'm playing quite a few spell and traps to monster and ratio now let's go ahead and spin that wheel and see what that changes in the build come on something good to please Simo got a freaking cyber dragon the other time I would like something on that level and we're gonna get entered a local tournament let's go three tournament packs of the era let's find out what we're opening shall we so it looks like my booster pack for the time is champion pack three champion pack four will come out later and i get three of these bad boys so let's tear into them three cards each and it looks like i'm not gonna be ritual summoning necro valley is not terrible but we don't have revival in the format and a fairy dragon let's try that again and see if we can get something usable feather of a phoenix i think one of our decks had options for that already gravekeeper's chief i'm not going to tribute summon for and another fairy dragon come on third pack i could really use something i'm not sure what's in champion pack Ooh, wild nature's release on the mage which i already have and then kai the man of all people visiting Jaden before his defeat since i'm cyrus right let's go ahead and get into that duel i'm pretty sure i'm not going to be using anything from here unfortunately all right you guys so at the time champion pack three is the set we would have been opening if we were to attend a local tournament so we've got three packs of this to crack let's see if we get anything good pack number one another Another copy of Chiron would be amazing if we didn't already have three in this deck. So that's really sad, but it's nice that at least we had the option. Pack number two, can we get anything decent? Uh, doesn't look like it. It's unfortunate because there are some okay cards in here. Let's flip up our last one. Another Chiron. Damn, that would have been so cool. Crystal Core also don't think is worth playing either. And Feather of the Phoenix, two out of three packs, too, is a bit unfortunate. I think this actually came in one of these two starter decks as well. But looks like the champion packs were a bit of a dud. At least we get to keep our deck in the shape that it is. And I'm feeling pretty good about that. So, guys, we're not going to make you guys wait any longer. I can't wait to see how this one's going to play out. I think this may be the best episode yet. So, ladies and gentlemen... It's time to duel. John, I don't want to hype this up any more than I already have, but I feel like this may be the best episode that we've done in the series so far. These decks, I feel like, are very close. This sort of gives me vibes of, like, 2002-2003 format, and I think you might be able to understand why I'm saying that. I, I don't know. I just have a good feeling about this episode. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. The one thing that's different for this matchup is we have, like, no revival at all. The monster reborn right. is gone. A lot of the broken cards are gone, and instead it's cards that need to, like, discard a card if you want that to give up the card economy. Yeah. Not going to say anything about my deck building, but those were the difficult choices. I chose this deck specifically. I've already said it in my deck building, so old man boomer story. Good old Steamroid that won me my Cyber Dragons when I couldn't afford them at the sneak peek. I played sure. for cards out of my binder. Nobody wanted those cards for Cyber Dragon, but they would play for them because they're like, oh, Steamroid, and then I steamrolled <laughs> right over them. <laughs> Your deck, I think... If there was a better one, I want to say yours is better. You have Book of no Moon. Shot. You have no Econ. Shot. You, you have, have Decoichi. You have I'm... Triple Compulse, which co directly conflicted with how I had the deck build okay, my entire we'll deck. Okay, we'll see, buddy. We'll see. We'll see you by the end of it. Uh, let's go ahead and do that rock, paper, scissors. You still, you still rolling a dice for I this one? I am rolling a die, and if I lose, so be it. Uh, Jay is the patron. Thank you so much, Jay. I appreciate the support. And, buddy, I swear to God, if I lose this. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> the king, baby! I'm gonna have nightmares about this. Uh, okay. Uh, good luck, buddy. You're on 42. I also considered 42, but I did find a way to shave it down to 40, so... It was very, very hard for me to decide exactly what I was doing. Don't here. forget to draw for turn, buddy. Oh, oh, right, right. My, my bad. I'm so mesmerized by current format. I've actually <laughs> been playing a lot, so... Uh, it's hard to remember to go back right now. Yeah. All yeah. right. Now, you do have basically the Trunade and Storm. Trunade won't be so bad, but running into Storm early, you have to be careful of how much you're giving up. I agree. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go to main one here. So sets in your deck. I, Dekoichi is like your main set, I feel like. Question is, how much do I care about just like running into everything else you have? It, you only a, have one 1900 card and I have tons of 1800s. Yeah, I have tons of 1800s too, actually. I think we're, if I recall, I think we're actually evenly split on 1800s. I mean 1800 defense, buddy. Oh, oh. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's also a concern. That's fair. Okay. Well, I... Ugh. There is a consideration here. I'm actually going to fire Trunade right out of the gate. Ooh, I have no counter to that. That hurts. I want to be able to actually establish. I feel like there's a huge tempo game here, and I feel like although I take a minus on it, I feel like just getting to set something up, there is an advantage to that. So Tempo's I'm going to run out Chiron. Big. All right. Let's try to hit. I will draw a card. You guessed it on the nose. Okay, I figured as much. Uh, second main, I'm going to set my back row and pass it to you. Well, you know, what comes around goes around, Simo. <laughs> Fuck, okay. All right, fair play, fair play. And you know who I gassed up right before this? We've got some diesel in the engine, there baby. Let's is. go. Oh, man, we're getting steaming. Okay, so I'm going to take 500 because your steamroid goes up to 23 when it attacks. Massive in this format. Huge. And you already know I've got backup over here, and I'm pretty sure that's not a heavy storm to bait me into putting more down, but I'll stick with just the two. God, I wish, buddy. That would have been great. Okay, I'm going to go to main one here i'm gonna try to run out dark blade what do you got dark blade is fine i'm gonna go to battle run into your sakuretsu armor <laughs> hmm. we will go ahead and use that sakuretsu okay armor. figured as much there's a, there's multiple things on attacking that can actually matter in this format uh, i'll go to main two you already know i have these so no surprise here uh, i will set the two and pass though go ahead yeah you have a negated attack you have trap hole you have saku negate attacks pretty funny versus the threatening word that's one of my slight edges where i can chain to your heavy right. storm where you can't yeah let's see here do I go full tempo or do I hmm, set up resources? That is tough. I don't know. If you have another steamroid buddy, I don't know how you're how you're not just jumping at the opportunity. <laughs> well, he only gains attack if it attacks a monster. I know. That's I know. Uh, direct attack here from the steamroid. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm fine with this. So this is 18 to the dome, sure. Yep, and I will go ahead and throw down another face down and pass. Ooh, okay, I'll go ahead and draw. Oh, perfect. So, this is one of the edges I have over your deck. Uh, oh, may not matter depending on what set card you have, unfortunately, but I think I want to go ahead and give it a shot. I'm going to run out Elemental Hero Wild Heart. <laughs> fair, fair. Now, this is a cool card because it does nullify a lot of your traps. However, if this is a spell, this is not going to matter. <laughs> it is not rush recklessly. You are good. Okay, so you're going to take 200 from that because he loses 500 attack, uh, and I'm feeling pretty good. I'll pass the turn. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and summon Archfiend Soldier. Ooh, I think we're going to have to try to trap hole that, buddy. I'm going to use seven tools of the bandit. That was another card that I was thinking you could possibly have. You have that card and I don't. So that's a big advantage in this matchup, I feel. It, it is pretty good for me here. Now, I'm going to use Smashing Ground as well on your All Wild right. Heart, just in case you have a, some kind of attack gain back there. Although, it's unaffected by trap cards in general. I may not have, should have used that there. 19 is fine. I'll take it. And in the main phase two, I'm going to flip Mask Ooh, of Darkness. Oh, yes. Okay. And I think I'm going to go back with the Sakuretsu armor just to let you know I have it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and draw. That is fine, but not great. Okay. I think so. Uh, things don't get really out of hand here. I'm going to smash in your Archfiend Soldier. Ah, uh, darn. He has so much defense. Uh, then I know you have Sack. I don't know if I can do anything about it. Hmm. There's so much removal in this format. It's kind of there crazy. There really is. It's actually... Uh, that's why Cybertech was so hard to consider because I wanted a payload off yeah. of brain control, but the cost of it is so much. It, it just It is a magnet for everything. I agree. I, I think we came to a lot of the same decisions from what it sounds like here. I will go ahead and ram in for 900, 900. baby. It's damage. Yeah, sure. And we'll set another back row and pass it, unless you've pro-stormed me. I think that's a good play. That seems pretty Dust Tornado. Good. Dust uh, Tornado. You're, you're telegraphing it. it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> I'll go to main one. Uh, I'm going to dust what I assume is the sack. All right. Okay. Uh, for all the good it'll do, I'll bring out well, Sasuke. Well, you've fallen into my trap hole oh, instead. Oh, no. All right. So Sasuke's down. Uh, I will set another card. Go ahead, buddy. All right. Well, you know what's better than the one? 
two. Yep. That Mask of Darkness is a very scary card in this format, for sure. It really is giving me way better mileage than I thought it would here, because I figured with all the one-for-ones, it would just continue the train of one-for-ones. But since I was able to steal this early tempo back, it's doing so much work. It's almost like Yada in that way, where it's like if you establish control, I think Mask of Darkness is just going to It does take kind you over of steal top. your turn unless you get out from under it. Right. Uh, Dark Blade is fine. And we'll attempt to force game unless he got that negate attack. I'll take nine from the mask. No. I'll take nine from the other mask. Dark blade? I'll sack the dark blade. All right, fair. And I think, you know, I already got some things going on back here. So I'll throw down a second face down in my turn. Okay, you added back the sack. I wasn't sure if it was sack or trap hole. Uh, oh my God, what do we do? Jeez. The tempo. I'm gonna set and pass. <laughs> set pass, huh? Well, I'm top decking pretty good here, Sima. Shit. Yeah, it's fine. I think this is gonna be game. It's gonna be game. I had Gemini Elf and I'm like, oh! if you monster, this might be good. I didn't want to normal oh. summon it into Trap Hole, but you know the what? The 900 defense would have helped. It would have mattered. It would have mattered. Oh, I knew the Mask of Darkness was going to be a problem. Because, like, what, as soon as one of us gets established, that is just going to just be infinite advantage. And it's going to be so hard for the other person to catch back up. Damn, that was that was good. This is what I was expecting out of this, and I'm happy. So, I... Well, infinite's a... I don't got Tsukiyomi no, over here. As, but it does get a one-for-one one back for your one-for-one one and continue that correct, chain of events. right. I mean, essentially, it's going to establish you to a point where you're going to make it that you're so far ahead on tempo because then not only can you stop whatever my next push is but then you continue pressing your advantage as well that it's it's hard it's it's really really hard okay it does make all it right tough. well i'm gonna go ahead and start here good luck buddy i'm gonna figure out what i want to do and you know looking at this i actually don't know how i feel i think think i'm just gonna set and pass i think what's fun about these hands is there is a lot of different ways to actually play yeah them out. i think so as well i feel like we have to like think about this in a completely different way than other episodes we've done before yeah like i have to consider your dust tornado i have to consider getting pro stormed uh so on that note i'm going to summon shiron the mage and pass priority that's Fine. All right, I will go ahead and use his ability, and I'll give up one of my one-for-one one cards to one. It was one. Dust Tornado. Nice. All right, we'll go in for battle. Take then. the 18. Uh, I just want to say, uh, I did get a good wheel spin. Oh, I got no. some tournament packs, and while I already had three Chirons, I got another Chiron, <laughs> but you can't play four. I ones. also got tournament packs, and I got, I think, five Chirons total. <laughs> so <laughs> similar, uh, similar to you, similar to you. Okay, anything in standby, I imagine not. Nope, main one is main good. Main one is good. Oh, God, it's just so tricky. All right, I'm going to run out my Dark Blade. All right. I'm going to smash your Chiron. This is unfortunate. And we'll go to battle, try to hit. I'll take the 18. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to end there. Go ahead. All righty. I'll go ahead and summon the full steam there ahead. Is. Yep, sure. And we're going to attack. Chugga chugga. I'm taking 500. The pain train. And I'll pass okay. to you. I will draw. I'm going to run out an old favorite, Wild Heart. Okay. Try to get in. Not this oh, time, there's buddy. The econ, fine. A B up down sideways. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll pass. It was. It's a good theory. It's a good. I still stand by that. This is a good idea. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I have to decide if you're setting me up for a vortex or not. If you've sighted it in because of how last game went. Oh, options, options, options. I think I am going to go ahead and leave my buddy into attack. Wild hearts down. And then I am going to do the good old T set. Ooh, okay. And pass to you. I don't want to run headlong into lightning. Got storm. the set. Okay, that is scary. So I think how I want to counteract this. Don't have any traps in grave this second. That can change. Mask of Darkness has me spooked now. Uh, okay, I am going to run out Exiled Force. And Ooh, with Pryo, hello. I'm going to try to get rid of this. 
There goes the okay. clinch. That's fine, honestly, because like that's another card you could get, and I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm going to set one, and I'm going to throw it to you. All right. I will go ahead into the main phase one, and you know what all the pros do? There goes another dust tornado. <laughs> fair, fair. And now I will go ahead and put myself in that position... Where if you have Lightning Storm, you kind of... This is a lot of damage, though. This is a lot of damage. 36. It's 36. Yep. I'm scared of the storm. I feel like it's coming. I will throw down a face down. All right, pass. we'll draw. Well, you sniffed it out. It is the Vortex. Uh, I do have a thing. Oh, okay. okay. Well, yeah, let me pitch, pitch for cost, cost first. I'm going to get rid of this Dark Blade. I'm going to go ahead and activate Ooh. Book of Moon, flipping Steamroid down with that 1800 defense. Okay. And hope you don't have a Gemini. Fair play. Uh... Crap. Oh, that's a problem now. Hmm. I, that 1800 defense is good, dude. Back uh, in the day, held off DD Assailant and all sorts of problems. It was no joke. Now I'm in a really weird spot. I think I actually am just going to set and pass. All right. We'll go to main phase mm -hmm. one, and we will flip summon the steamroid and attack into whatever. Chiron. Couldn't get, Couldn't get over it, him, baby. He's just going to die if I summon him in attack, so... And we'll T-set and pass. All right, T-set it is. Uh, main one... This is not great. I tell a huge long story about him. He's hard carrying He is. Here. I'm going to smash him. No! <laughs> um, I'm going to set one and throw it to you. Fair. Fair play. Um... I'll go ahead and set another and pass. Ooh, it's mask. Okay. All right. It, could it be. has to be mask. Why else would it stay down? There's there? no yeah. way you wouldn't flip that if it wasn't Dekoichi. No way. Uh okay, I'm gonna set. That's the fun part about these formats. Sometimes you just have to telegraph what yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. Considered setting, were you thinking about a monster? I'll pass back okay, to you. Okay, <laughs> we're in one of these positions now. A little bit. I'll set one and pass. I feel like it's somewhat favorable for you as it goes on but we will go ahead and man I, I almost feel like i have to start the clock here and with yeah with the life points I have. this feels really <laughs> stupid but you know what <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> let's go your trap hole buddy i'll take the knot it does and it's your right, move we'll draw okay it forces you to start it does playing, force me to start playing uh we're gonna start with true nade no i do not have to counter okay that. good 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 i get to run out sasuke now kill All the right. mask and in second main i'm gonna set one and pass no one care who i was till i put on the mask <laughs> um you have one set you know what that better be in a gate attack Oh, shit. Fuck, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Sure. Buddy, Brain good games. games. Good Woo! games. It was, it was Rush Vortex. There's nothing else I could oh. do. Oh. So I had, like, this trap hole Saku just waiting for ages yeah. for you to make a I just move. couldn't draw a monster. And then I, I drew, like, tr spell after spell after spell. Brain control is something I just considered from, like, an aggro perspective, where it's like, if the life points are low enough, you could just win with it, and that's exactly, like, what you did. I even said that in my deck building, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah, for me, it's also, like, if you put out two cards, you only have to spend one Unlike Lightning Vortex in order to get the economy out yeah, of it. Yeah, absolutely. Buddy, I'm down to do Depending a quick game three if you want. Those are pretty quick. I am, this too. Was this fun. was super let's, fun. This let's was just keep going. Fun. Let's I'm just keep going. Buddy, I gotta get... I'll give him an RPS. I'll give him one. I gotta one. get one game off of you. Like, it has to happen <laughs> eventually, but... Man, ugh. I, maybe it's... I don't know. That was that Book of Moon you had was very clutch for the Vortex, though. The fact I think the only one this close is the Warrior vs. Spellcaster. That's the only one I had as much fun as this yeah, This with. is great. I can play this, like, all day. This is awesome. Okay, I'm going to start with main one here. The issue is, like, I don't really feel like running guys out because I feel like they just die to, like, every, like, removal card that we have Achoo. access to. <laughs> So I think I'm actually going to start by setting and I'm going to set two and throw it to you. Go ahead, buddy. Well, you know, you had a pretty good play there. The first one that only had one counter in another tree. Uh, so we'll try it fair, out for myself. Fair, fair, fair. And we'll normal summon and see what's faced. It was a dark blade. It's trying to uh, play around some things. <laughs> 
<laughs> if I do have an advantage, it's that I have well-placed sets that do one for one themselves while trying to steal the tempo back and bait you out with things. All right, sets two and passes. I will draw. Ugh, this is not good. Um, all right. Whoever sees the 1900 in this also, since like, I feel like we're both like shyer on the equips and those kinds of things. If there's not a removal for it. It's kind of a huge problem. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't, I'll talk about that once we're done with this game because I had a theory for that, but I'm just going to set three and throw it back to you. All right. I will try to get you to use, I guess, both a, both a trap hole and a Saku maybe. Sure. Dark Blade's fine. Well, there's no mirror force, I think. Take the 18, buddy. <laughs> And 19 to I'll Saku. I'll take the 19, buddy. <laughs> what? No, he already said it's he great. Said it's no. great. He was expecting I, I was resigned. <laughs> I, I was like, I'm sending my soldier into battle of Valorant. <laughs> Death ye shall have. All right. I'll go ahead and draw. Uh, I have the Vortex, so that's, ah, that's help okay. us out here. I think I'm going to get rid of... Uh, let's get rid of this Grandmaster Sasuke. Let's see your Book of Moon. All right, Ooh, no, no not this okay. time. There's no big defense. And then Wild Heart appear. <laughs> All right, <laughs> hit him in. Calm down. It's so good. No trap hole, no Saku. Thank you very much. Go ahead, buddy. That is very true. That is a problem for me to a degree. And if I have like hmm. Rush in the back row too, like I mean, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Right now, it is a thorn in my side. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and draw for turn. Uh, let's go to main one. There isn't any like crazy card here. Like Vortex is a consideration, of course, if I want to get two for one as well. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good, just hitting for fifteen. Fifteen is. And fine. I'll just throw it back. Oh man! All right. I'm gonna set the one and set another and pass. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and draw. Uh, let's go to main one. So you set one, so I won't be able to get damage in unless I really want to commit here for back row. There's no way anything I summon is gonna survive. Uh, hmm. Set is either mask or decoichi. Uh, it could also be steamroid. Let's see. On entering the battle phase, we're going to threaten the. Oh, okay, here. okay. You just want to get that in there. The for one trap of that will affect <laughs> him. You true. don't get to declare it. At That's that. true. Uh, I'll set a fourth card and pass. Go ahead, flip your mask, get your threatening roar back. Have fun. What will we'll affect the player? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and mask and get the yeah, roar back. Yeah, that's good. Got to get some economy out of, of that. Um, now, your negate attack isn't very good with your wild heart. Hmm. I will go ahead and steal your wild heart. Ooh, yeah, you can have him. And we'll see how much damage we can do. Attack. I'll take nine. And we'll Oh, attack. I did that out of order, but I'm taking both of them. <laughs> well, I'm going to enter the uh, damage step. Buddy, if you have triple and rush recklessly, I'm good. Oh, you have rising uh, there's, energy. There's one card that does a little bit more. Okay, so I take an extra 15 here. Yes. Do you have a rush recklessly too? No, oh, I do not. God. Okay. We just, uh, we're putting you on a little bit of a clock. <laughs> a little bit. And That's a big clock. <laughs> we will go ahead and give you that back. Okay, so I know you saw the threatening roar, so attacks are going to get blanked. All right, I'm going to draw here. Uh, main one. Hmm... I'm surprised you didn't have Dust Tornado for that. Got the mask. I want to do this. Uh, let's go. Let's go to battle. I'll go ahead and use the okay, war here. Sure. Second main, I'm going to set one. And mm. I'm going to throw it over. All right. Well, we're going to top deck an Archfiend Soul. Ooh, I'm going to try to trap hold that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and what I'm going to do is A, B, down, up, take your monster. Going to take the wild heart, huh? That's pretty good. Okay, uh, chain link three. I'm going to dust your other set. Ooh, that's going to be sad Okay, here. sure. No seven tools. So you had the dust, but didn't want to take I out figure that. it's better to take out your last card if you used a card like Econ here, because it's a Fair. dark blade, baby! Fifteen. Oh, the whole <laughs> tempo! My gambit is destroyed here. Yeah, I'm about to get run through. Yeah. Oh, it happens like that. Well, I have no other 
plays but to pass it on back to that's you. kind of why i was thinking with dust in the end like if you wanted the threatening roar fine but you know uh okay so this is what super fair this is what six plus 18 is 24 so that'll put you down uh, i think this is lethal actually so i do believe it is as bring well. out gemini elf this will be 600 and then 37 and that is in fact lethal wow well, well let's you take one off of got us. one of them got one of them i, I mean that game three just showed that it really could have just gone either way uh i'm gonna just get out of the sideboarding screen here just so we can show off some of the stuff in our decks i i think we actually took very different approaches here because you were i i also had access to mask of darkness but i opted not to play it but you were playing the brain controls as well main deck i was it, those were in the side for me um, but a lot of the other cards I expected to see in here as well, like the Decoichis and the like. Uh, Rising Energy, another battle trick you had access to. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just cool to see like what we both ended up coming up with here. Yeah, I decided to do teching and the ratios and like Steamroid was still going to be the star of my show if I saw him. Did you play the Chthonian Soldier or no? Uh, no, I did not play. Yeah, I felt like that would have been a bit of a risky gambit to try to yeah. get 24, but empty your hand when storms in a format such as uh, would have been drawn right here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the one little tech that I had in here and I basically and there it is right there. Uh, got onto this from doing one of my other series, Banner of Courage. All of our monsters have like 1800 and 1900 attack. And this, aside from like Heavy Storm, True Nade, every time I would be attacking with one of my monsters, I could have like Chiron hit over your Archfiend Soldier, right? Uh, it was just like, felt like a card that in the past when I've used it in other series that it would actually like maybe make a difference. But there was just, it felt like there was so much removal between like trap holes and Sakus. And then once I saw you were on Mask of Darkness and stuff too, I ended up citing these out. But like, in theory, I thought this card could be very powerful, but it just didn't get to show up, unfortunately. Yeah, it also <laughs> doesn't get Wildheart to be where he needs to be, which kind of was the star of your show that I didn't have. Yeah, then that's true as well, because it only pumps him up to 17 in battle phase. But to be fair, I mean, I just liked I, in game three, we really got to see what I wanted Wildheart for was after a lightning vortex. I basically just run him out. It basically nullifies all of your back row sands like Book of Moon Econ. And then I have a full row of back row that if you're trying to kill Wildheart, then I can protect him. And you really don't have a clean answer to it. Does, so. th doesn't the equip that you have work with Wildheart that you chose not to play it? Yeah, the Lightning Blade I, it does because it's a warrior. There's actually a decent amount of warriors in my deck, but the problem was because there's so much removal, I didn't want to play and commit to Lightning Blade because I'm not going to just put a Lightning Blade on something that's going to get Sakud or Trap Hold or lose to like Rush Recklessly or like there's just or Smashing Ground or Lightning Vortex. It just seemed like getting two for one like that in this site type of environment wasn't going to be ideal. Yeah, that's why I didn't play my equip, but it was only 500 attack, so it's less of a consideration for me. You had Black pendant yeah. right yeah yeah like 800 is sizable don't get me wrong but in a format that's like half of our deck is removal like it's such a tall ask to even like consider something like that but, but 500's enough for the pain train it is the pain train actually definitely proved its worth the 1800 defense on this is something that makes this very difficult to deal with from my deck's perspective because then i either need gemini elf specifically the banner of courage could have gotten me over it if i had it but i didn't have it unfortunately I'm telling you this guy won me 250 dollar cyber dragons there you go there you go i mean boosting him up to 23 when he attacks like that's pretty good and then similar to the theory with wild heart if you can protect him like it's almost impossible to like contest something like this so I mean, I get it. I like it a lot. And this is something that I would have fun like playing like 10 matches of in a row. Like it I felt like I could was. just play this like all day. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Sealed Saturday. We hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons as always. So shout out to Shout1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Chaotic Meatball, Tim Zero, Zero X3, Ian Musaika, Iron Fang, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man, Hoban, Secret Guy, Ole, Yusuf Asa, 05, Sylvia Wilds, Colty, Draconic, Rockside, Dollar Up, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Elson, Jordan Coons, Calvin, Iron Bladesman, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, True Nerd, Godzim, Brother Paul, Chris Ho, Nehru, Celeste, David Liu, Chaka, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, John Two Base, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos CT, Flannel Daddy, Ashlyn Jensen, Give Me Speed Raider, Give Me Death. Guys, please read your cards. TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad. Matthew Brady, Max, Tom Russell, Chipotle Rice, Wayan. I think of MBT in the shower, and MBT, you're pregnant, and I'm the father. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next and time. We'll never escape the Yu-Gi-Oh abridged memes. <laughs>